So I woke up this morning, I went and checked my phone, and I had a bunch of text messages telling me congratulations. And then I checked the camera we have on now, and I found out why. She had her baby overnight. It's my day off, but I'm super excited. I'm going to drive on in and take a look at this thing and hopefully tell what gender it is, see if it's a boy or a girl. Overnight, we had quite the surprise. We've been expecting a rhino for a little bit of time, but it's really hard to ever predict the exact day. And we came in this morning, and it looks like about at 5 o'clock, according to our camp, we had a new baby born. So we're excited to have a new member of the Wilds family. Hey, man. Hey, I take it since you, you're down here, you heard the good news, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you made it. Oh, wow. It's a big one. Yeah. Big and lean like mom. Oh, kid looks strong. Yeah, I've, I've been down here for a little bit watching it. I watched the footage on it, but I mean, it was up quick, moving around quick. Around five o'clock, let's see if we can see it standing. There, it's standing there. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought it was within the half hour. It was up. Uh, yeah, that's a half hour. It'd be hard to find nursing, but let's see. When I first got down here this morning, it was nursing, so I mean, that's one of those milestones we always look for. You get a good look and see where it is yet? I, I keep on thinking it might be a little girl, but I'm not positive. By how big it is, I'm tempted to say boy. I think it's a boy by how big it is, just I haven't seen a calf this big in a long time. This thing's huge. Well, actually, <laughs> I thought I had saw something there. You see some udders on it? I think I, mean... I see udder. I'm thinking that's a girl, man. It's a big girl. It's a big girl. <laughs> that is a big one. That's awesome, though. Like large Marge here. <laughs> <laughs> Tall like her mom. With how big she was, I definitely was thinking she's a boy. But this girl's massive, and that's great. She's going to be strong, she's going to be healthy, and she's going to help grow this herd into the future. So we love it. Anand's one of our favorite rhinos we have here. She really is a sweetheart, loves the attention, really works well with us, does great in training. And so to have her have a baby, is something that is really exciting for us. So hopefully her genetics, her charismatic behavior is going to get passed on a little bit. She seems to start getting a little anxious, probably leave her alone. But yeah. how's Scout doing? She's doing good. Here, yeah, let's go check her out. See you later, Nan. Scout's going to be so excited to have a calf her size to play with. There she is, down here with her aunt. It's going to definitely slow work down here. It's going to be hard to get anything done watching them mess around with each other. Just imagine, man, we're going to have two little grease pigs running around yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. You excited? get someone your own size to play with instead of these big lugs. So we've averaged two calves a year for the past 15 years, and that's just insane. Not a lot of people can say they've done that. I'm very lucky to be working here, and I'm very thankful for it every day. Ah. Timber. <laughs> Rhino. Hey. Rhino tipping. <laughs> I think you missed the spot right yeah. there. Okay. Good girl. <laughs>